Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. So this week, as it's my son's birthday on the 13th on Saturday, I decided I would grab a free printable this week, which is more dedicated to kind of his likes. So if you are new to my channel, every time there is a birthday in my household, I try to find a kit that is suitable or more geared towards them rather than what I would necessarily choose. So I have gone for Adventure Time because he's always watched Adventure Time. He hasn't watched it for a while actually, but it was a firm favourite in this household. Also, my mum bun, the bun on top of my head keeps coming into the shot of the camera. I'm really sorry. It's a super messy bun. What can I say? It takes up a lot of room. So here I'm just showing you the tiny slither of washi that's included with this free printable. And I just used that on top of some birthday washi that I already had in my stash. And it's just got like little tiny stars and confetti on it. So I decided to put that at the bottom and then the tiny washi over the top. And then here I'm just blacking out the black line with the little washi. I will leave this linked down below where I found the pre pre where right, I found the free printable in case you guys want to use it too and then we're just going to go in and go day by day so first up I'm using this kind of large page flag and for the first time in what feels like forever I've managed to use one of these days off stickers because I'm not actually going into work today some of these stickers obviously are a little bit too big they're not specifically designed for this planner so it is a little bit big and they do overhang a little bit if it really irritates you you could go and be really precise and trim it down but I just I don't have time for that so I'm just using it as it is so like I said I have got the day off it's also my son's first day at his work experience so I used a page flag to mark that and then to fill up some space I just used a full box I grabbed one of these long page flags. I'm also using some stickers from my birthday pack that's available in my shop, the sticker flake packs, which is where this star come from. And I just wrote down that I was going to be editing this week's plan with me. I'm shifting everything forward one day. So usually I do this on a Tuesday, but I'm moving it all over to the Monday. So I'm going to be editing the video and doing my voiceover. Somebody reminded me that I have actually got a Sims channel, which I completely forgot about. So I'm going to be filming a Sims video later today. I'm actually going to be filming two and I'm quite excited about them. So I put that down on a half box with another little print sticker. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but anyway, that's to mark down that I um, completely forgot that I had a Sims channel because I didn't want to keep uploading Sims videos mixed in with planner videos. I wanted to keep them separate. So I did set up a Sims channel called Simora. I will leave it linked down in the description box. Um, and then I set it up and forgot about it. So <laughs> I will be doing that later. And then for Tuesday, I started off with a full box up at the top. And then I wanted to mark for me to upload this plan with me. So I used another one of the long page flags and a little poppet from my social sheet with the little YouTube symbol and just wrote to schedule the upload. I do trim down some of these long page flags in a little while. So on Monday, I've got one that overhangs onto the Tuesday. I do trim it down in a little while. And then I put down another sticker from my sticker flake pack as I need to write a list ready for tomorrow. So on Wednesday, I'm going to the city and I just like to write a list before I go of like the shops that I want to go to, things that I want to look out for. You know, we're all planners here. I'm sure we all do that kind of list. And then, like I said, I'm moving everything forwards one day. So actually Tuesday is going to be my orders day this week. So I just marked that with a page flag and just write down for orders. I'm also going to be restocking the Poppet washi stickers. So I've used them in a plan with me and a few of you guys have asked me about them because you can't find them in my shop. They were in my shop and then they were out of stock. And I don't know if I deleted the listing by accident because it's not there, it's disappeared. And I also can't find the file on my PC either. I've got the stickers on the on my PC, but just not the, the listing section so I just need to redo all of that and then hopefully get them back up into the shop on Tuesday and then for Wednesday morning I'm going to be posting everybody's orders I'm actually going to try and do this late Tuesday if I can make it to the post office if not they will go on Wednesday and then I'm going to be shopping oh I struggled with this sticker so much I actually sped this up about five times the normal speed because I was there for so long but anyway I just put down a checklist and a header well it wasn't a header it was just a long page flag that I wrote down to buy on and that way I can put things down on this list as well you can never have too many lists then oh 
my phone just made a noise and then um, included in the free printable was a strip with all the different characters on so I just trimmed that down to cover up the black line and then my children will have some homework to do so I just used a pop it highlighter and I've also got some happy mail due on Wednesday which is typical as I'm not going to be here and I'll probably have to go down to the post office to collect it that's always the way and it's so irritating but I just put that down on there as well and then flipping over to Thursday I want to upload a sims video so I've just put down one of my social poppets with the YouTube symbol and wrote down for that I am using a different pen this week um, so I've been using and really loving the pens that have got the rapid dry ink so they dry like straight away the thing is when I buy really nice pens they tend to get stolen I've got three children they're addicted to pens seems to be like a you know I've passed that down it's a hereditary thing obviously so they have stolen all of the pens and this one is like an old one I think I got it from Tiger it's a really nice pen it's just not my usual pen but just in case you guys were wondering what the pen is it's from Tiger I'll see if I remember to leave a link to it in the description box because it is a really nice pen it's just that I usually use my other one I'm going to be showing you my new release um, now rather than when I'm filling out on Friday. It's going to be these Pop It washing line stickers because I had written down that I wanted to do laundry and I just really wanted to use one so I'm using it on Thursday. So this is going to be coming out on Friday. There's a couple of different designs on there and they fit perfectly in the width of your boxes so for Happy Planner and Erin Condren they'll fit nicely inside your boxes. I then took a poppet from the feeling sheet as my fiance has got football training and then it is a bin day collection for me on Thursday, well it's actually on Friday morning, I always put them out on Thursday evening and it is green bins this week. I got into a muddle, I wasn't sure which bin was which week, it was a bit of a mess and a disaster but now I know for certain it is green bins this week because even though I'm a planner I still get unorganized, I still get in a muddle and yeah. But Friday I am back at work so I just used another one of the large page flags like I did on Monday and wrote down work. I also need to drive to my parents house so I just used one of the little present stickers which comes in the birthday sticker flake packs. And again to cover up the black line I just used another strip of that washi which has got all the different characters on there. It's got Bemo on there who's my favourite and Lumpy Space Princess. Actually I love all the characters. And then here I'm just writing down my new release as it comes out on Friday, which you have already seen. It's the Pop It Washing Line stickers. And then I'm just going to put down a full box to block off some time. I also want to wrap all of my son's birthday presents and decorate everywhere with balloons and banners, the usual. So I just put that down at the bottom. And then moving on to the weekend, I put the weekend banner down. And like I said, Saturday is my son's birthday. So I started it with a full box up at the top and then put a birthday sticker down. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing, he keeps changing his mind what he wants to do but we will definitely be going out for the day wherever he ends up choosing so I'm going to be putting down a little family time sticker which I will fill out when we know what we're doing and then right at the bottom I've put a little, um, another little family time sticker as my parents and my sister and everyone will be coming over that night to wish him happy birthday and have some birthday cake and then moving on to Sunday, the rest of the little character um, washi, there wasn't enough to cover up the black line. So I just decided to trim those two down and use them as like little icons. And that was to film next week's plan with me, make sure they've got their homework done. And then for Sunday, I'm just writing down a to-do list and I'm using this long page flag here, which has got all the characters on. And I'm just going to be sticking that down and then I can write down as we go through the week. I find that a lot easier than me pre-filling out sometimes. I have got some things that I do write on it but sometimes I just like to keep some of these plain and I've got somewhere to write down things when I remember them. And then at the bottom there I'm just writing to get school bits ready. So flipping it over to the sidebar I'm using my full box right at the top and then it come with a really long, uh, I don't know what you would call this, like a, it's not like a checklist. It's got well, I suppose it is a checklist I'm making it into a checklist anyway <laughs> but I've just put down for my next week section and then I'm creating two habit trackers one for my Instagram and then one for Etsy and I'm just writing on the days of the week there and I will just mark them off like I would usually do on a habit tracker so here I'm just taking the frame that's outside the patterned washi in my birthday sticker flake packs and I decided to use some of the larger icons 
or larger deco stickers and create almost like a little collage with the leftover stickers that I had. So I always like to um, choose a kit that's dedicated to whose ever birthday it is because it makes me get out of my comfort zone, it makes me try kits that I wouldn't necessarily have picked up for myself and it also makes me plan in a different way and it kind of just shakes things up a little bit so you're not doing the same thing every single week. And because we have five people in our household that means at least five times a year I'm going to be picking up kits that aren't pastel, that aren't pink and that aren't foiled. Well not necessarily because I have got a daughter and you know but you see what I'm trying to say here it just makes you do something a little bit different. But this is the end of the plan with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new then please don't forget to subscribe. I upload a plan with me video every Tuesday and as always I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and I will speak to you next time. Bye guys!